Hello, this is Shantae with Simply Shantae Renee. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. In today's video, I am going to be doing a plan with me in my weekly planner um, or in my catch-all planner, and that is my Happy Planner Mini. And this will be for the week of March 6th through the 12th. So if you're interested in seeing how my plan with me comes out, please stay tuned. All right, guys, I cannot believe it is already into March. Um, I am a little bit behind with this video. However, I still wanted to get this content out for you. So as I like to do, um, I'm going to pull out. Here's how my last week turned out. If you did not get a chance to watch that video, go ahead and watch it after this one. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my sheets. Um, you know, I do not like to plan with um, my sheets being in the actual planner. I am using the dashboard layout of the Happy Planner. As you guys know on my journey, um, I have gone back and forth between sizes, but this go round, um, I am using the Happy Planner Mini. I am thinking of some other sizes that I may want to switch to um, that are still dismount, but some things that I wanna do that um, are a little bit more fun. Um, not that this isn't fun, but just to kind of change up my style. Ideally, I kind of like to change up my style about every three months. Um, however, we'll see how that goes. So I pulled out some stickers from a stash that I had. And it's this cute set here. It is by Black Heart Creation. This is super old. I think I got it at one of the planner meetups. And I haven't been to a planner meetup since, you know, um, the big C. So it is definitely super old. And then I will be pulling a few stickers out of this Nurse Life book. Um, I'm excited this week because I only work two days this week and then I'm going on a retreat. Um, so I'm super excited about that. So let's get into it. All right, so I have a bunch of script stickers off to the side as well. I didn't take the time to put them on my sheet today, but um, I actually just put them on the side of my desk here. So I also have this little washi here, which I thought was really cute. I do believe this was a Dollar Tree washi, but again, I thought it was really, really cute. So it was one that I kept um, after my washi de-stash. Again, if you have not seen that video, you definitely should go back and watch me get rid of a lot of washi, you guys. Um, only thing about this one that I did not think about before I started is that this is a little bit more transparent, so you will see things underneath here. So I do have some white out, but I really don't feel like the fuss of it right now. So I'm just going to go with it. I hope you guys are having a great week. This is the start of my week. Um, oh no, I didn't bring my little thingy to cut my washi tape. Well, let me improvise. <laughs> One second, guys. All right, so let's use this. You know, I try to keep all my stuff together, but something somehow always ends up missing when I go to record my videos, um, but such is life. So yes, this is at the top of my week as I am filming this um, and I am going to do some batch recording today just because I will be traveling at the end of this week and I definitely want to um, get everything out. I had an amazing weekend. I did some traveling over the weekend. I did a one day trip, um, turnaround trip over the weekend. And, um, even though it was fun, I definitely <laughs> just, um, it takes a lot of energy out of you to do those one day turnaround trips. So even though it was fun, I am glad that I am back and I am glad that I feel much more rested and <laughs> rejuvenated because um, on the trip back, I actually drove and even though it was only like a four hour drive, I was just like dying <laughs> the last hour. I was just like, oh my God, I'm ready to get home. Um, 
So yeah, even though I had a lot, a lot of fun, I enjoy being back home. And it is one of the reasons why I don't like to do turnaround trips because I think that they are so exhausting. Um, but we made it there and back safely. And I was excited to be there for the reason that, that I was there. So I like to go ahead and cover up these spots here and um, just utilize them in the way that I utilize them. I don't know if I wanna put any washi. I think I'm just gonna put a strip here in the middle. So I'll share with you guys that I have, when I say that I'm thinking about other planners, um, in one of my most recent videos, I actually found a Hobonichi style um, printable for the Happy Planner Mini, which I am using for work to track some things specifically. And so um, in my search still on Etsy, I ended up finding a whole Hobonichi uh, cousin printable that you can do in like an A5 size. Um, disc bound or either ring bound and so it was only like eight bucks so I'm pretty excited about it I haven't ordered it yet but I'm pretty excited about it because I think that's what I am going to do within the next um, month or so is to go ahead and get that printable printed out and see how I um, like it um, and it gives me a chance to do that before I actually <laughs> you know, pay a whole lot of money for a Hobonichi uh, cousin. I think they are beautiful planners. I love watching the um, plan with me's of the Hobonichi, but I just, guys, it's just something about, you know what? I should have moved that over a little bit and just did this so I wouldn't have to necessarily put dates on there. It is just something about um, being able to move stuff around in my planner that, I don't know why, it just kind of drives me crazy if I feel like I can't move stuff around. Even though on a regular basis, I am not really moving anything around in my planner. So I don't know, but I just think those um, plan with me's and the layouts and how it all works together is really nice. So I thought, hmm, Chante, go ahead and try it um, digitally, not necessarily digitally, but as a printable and see how you like it. And then if you really, really like it, Go ahead and purchase you one for uh, next year. So we shall see. But I was really excited about that. And then I also, the other day from SD, bought a whole lot of more printables that I will be sharing with you guys. Um, and they were, I think, normally originally like three or so dollars. Um, and they were on sale for like 60 and 70 cents. So I was super excited about that. I've already used one of the printables. I already printed out one and cut. Um, you will be seeing it in one of my upcoming videos. And so um, I'm super excited about those printables as well. Because the truth of the matter here is that for us true stationary babes, we just like a lot of stuff, right? And so... <laughs> We definitely like a lot of stuff, but that doesn't mean that we have to spend our money on all the things. So I like getting printables and just being able to um, utilize them how I want to utilize them. I think I'm actually going to cover up this spot here. Just put this little to kind of do thing here just to cover up those days of the week. And then I am not really a cat person, but I think this is a cat. Maybe it's a fox. I don't know, <laughs> but it's super cute. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that in here. I just think the kit as a whole is really, really cute. Um, and then I am also going to use one of these little short to do's down here as well. So I think that's a good looking base. And let me see if I want to use anything else out of here and do another set of like to do's. I am going to kind of double that on there. So these colors are so light. I hope they that you guys can see them on camera. I thought this was a really cute kit. It's, um, you know, coming up to springtime here soon. 
So I kind of wanted to get some of those light colors out. Um, I am also going to put down a habit tracker here. I had pulled off another one, but I didn't even see these on here. So I'm just going to use the one that came with the kit. And that's the beauty of having kits is that there's so much on the kits that you can use. So I'm going to put down my exercise sticker here so I can track exercise for the week. And let's see. I also think I'm going to use some of these banners here just to kind of give my page a little bit of an extra pop. Uh, let's see here. And it's going to kind of notate the day, even though I have a conference sticker. It's a retreat, actually. But it didn't have a retreat sticker, so I am going to put that there. And then that is going to um kind of stand for the days that i will be gone for the retreat um i also am going to put a little shot by the days that i will be working this week so i just have tuesday and wednesday i'm super excited about that um that i will have like a little mini vacation and i will put that there even though i have a lot of stuff to get done i am super excited so there we go there. And then for Monday, have like a coffee run to Dunkin'. It's not something that I normally do, but I have like an espresso and a Keurig. So, I mean, if anybody has an espresso, you know that coffee is just killing it, right? Um, and I do love my Keurig also, but the Nespresso is just a whole nother level. So I don't buy a lot of coffee out. Um, however, I, you know, do like Dunkin' here or there, like to give me some avocado toast and a little bitty like donut hole if I want and some coffee and just, you know, make it a thing. Um, I will probably be doing laundry um, days in a row because I want to make sure that stuff is done before I go out of town. I do not like to come back home um, and just have a lot of like laundry and things to get done. I usually try to, if I can, get those things done before I leave. So that way when I come home, I can kind of just truly relax. Um, I do have a hair appointment on Wednesday, thank God, because my braids have been up for six weeks and I am just dying to get them out. Um, and then I do have a nail appointment, actually just for a pedicure on Monday. And then I also have a chapter meeting, guys. I'm loving all these script stickers, so I don't have to worry about writing it down. Um, and then I will be headed to a retreat on Thursday. I'm super excited about it. So I'm going to put that down there. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this down here to remember to take my trash out for Monday. So, you guys, I think that this is going to be it for this spread. I think it is really, really cute. Again, I got those stickers from Black Heart Creation. I don't know if the sticker shop is still open because I got those stickers before the big C. Um, so, I really don't know if I get a chance to look up. Instagram to see if this shop is still open. Um, I will definitely, you know, leave that information in the comments. I think that this is a really cute um, section. I didn't pull out a kind of like social media sticker, but I have been using my top section uh, for social media. So kind of here last week, I didn't finish filling out things, but I have been using that top section. So I think this is gorgeous. Let me get it a little bit more in frame. I think this is gorgeous. Um, I'm glad that I actually went back and looked in my binder that had these stickers because I think this turned out beautiful. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button. I hope you stuck with me to this point. If you did, go ahead and put a pink heart down in the comments if you stuck to the end with me. And again, I really appreciate you for all your 
um, help and support on my YouTube journey. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscription button as well. And if you don't follow me on my Instagram, go ahead and follow me at Simply Shantae Renee. I would love to have you over there as well. Um, as I always like to end my videos, before that, I like to say have a blessed and great week. And as I always like to end my videos, make sure that you are living life fearlessly, be intentional in all that you do and strive to walk in, ex in excellence. And until the next video, you guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.